my friends, and welcome back to whatever this room is. Uh, this isn't the normal uh, paint room I'm usually in. You guys see me shoot all my videos. It's uh, down the hall a little bit. Uh, I showed it on my Patreon channel, and where I did the unboxing for this waterfall spray booth. Actually, let me show you quick where I am. That room down there with the lights coming out that way. That's where uh, my booth is against the wall there. And I sit on the bench against the wall there. That's where I show all my paints and everything. This is a hallway. This is all stuff that's yet to be painted or tested or has been tested. That room is all my Gumpler kits. And there's more Gumpler kits out here. Here's my car kits, my aircraft kits all over here. And I go behind me here. So there's a little bit of a quick tour. But anyway, this is this big old oak table my brother built when he was a kid. By a kid, I mean not even driving yet. Uh, my brother's got the talent in the family. He even built a grandfather clock. Out of wood at 14 years old anyway uh yeah this is a big table that's my dehydrator i dry all my parts in and my spoons in during uh, video shoots but on to the waterfall spray booth now this one is a uh, bit more portable than the original design uh i do like this design quite a bit um it folds open but it's not too portable because these are led lights that snap in in order to fold it back you know if you see the video uh, on the Patreon channel, you'll see what I mean. But it just, th these sides here, just they flop open. The top comes in, and then all of this snaps in. And that is your LED lights. And uh, actually, I can show you those now. Hold on. Where are we? There we go. See that? So they lit on three sides. Plus, with the sides being clear, really lets a lot of light in. It's a really, really good design feature to be clear all around. Um... It's a little more shallow than my huge booth, but uh, still a good size. Here is a uh, Supra car kit, and that fits right in there, no problem. Now, you got to keep it level to keep the water performance good. It comes with a little level if you don't have one. I happen to have this smaller level I used when I put my shelves up, and uh, it happens to be perfectly level. Yep, bubble is dead center. You can check all around, but it helps the water flow evenly. If, you, <clears throat> if you're getting an uneven flow of water, it's probably because it's tilted one way or another. And to get it level, it has six feet right here. And you can adjust these. I'll show you. I can pop this up to help. And see that? And they turn with little rubber feet in the bottom. And that helps you level it off. And I got these adjusted perfectly. As you've seen, it was dead level. And that's where your water performance and your waterfall is going to come into play. Now, it has two features. It's a waterfall to capture the paint particles and to get the smell out. If you're not using an acrylic, uh, you got your traditional... Um, oops, no one said the camera. Sucking uh, an exhaust through the bottom and around these little gaps here and to over the top into the water, into the traditional filter in the back and up and out through... Um, the hose, the exhaust hose. Now, I'm not near a window. Let me show you what I did. I put a piece of uh, foam from my aquarium rolls that I use for my uh, other spray booth. I just cut a piece. I'm getting close here for you guys. See it? I just cut a piece and put an elastic around it, and that should capture any of the... See it? That would be for the smell. Now... I would go with, if you're not going to put it in a window, you don't have to. I believe this is going to do a lot of the work through the waterfall portion. And this black carbon also takes away smell. This sucks up through the carbon. But see this carbon? They make that black carbon for aquariums and uh, air, air filters for your house. You take one of those and cut it up and wrap it around this. And then you can even take this hose, which extends about six feet, put it in a big cardboard box like I showed in my other video, my in inexpensive video for uh, a spray booth just take the hose and put it in there still leave the carbon over it and I would just fill the uh, the box with rags and I used to my friend actually sprays for breeze and stuff in there and he keeps it sealed up and that sucks the smell and it keeps it in there even cat litter or something else he uses with a scent grabber and that's all you need you don't even need a window because this is doing a lot of the dirty work here it's actually going to take all of the overspray and capture it in the water and then capture it down here so really this is just to get most of the scent now personally you don't even need it if you're using a true acrylic like uh, a Vallejo, um, it's totally water-based. There's no smell on those at all, and you're not, you know, there's no toxicness to that at all. So you don't even have to, personally, you don't even need that. You could probably use this 
booth if you're a, a pure acrylic uh, person. That's all they use. I use a lot of solvents and stuff, so I do need um, the full the full hilt here. But uh, you can get away with this being a nice carbon filter in a big cardboard box, like I said, stuffed with rags and maybe some scented cat litter. But that's the exhaust fan. Now let me show you the system here. And there's your panel. All right, that was the lights, which I turned on. This is the pump. We'll turn that on in a second. And this adjusts the airflow, and you can adjust the airflow for the vent. You can actually adjust it, which is a great feature. So if I'm doing a video, I can dial it down so you guys can hear me really well. If you're working alone, you can crank it right up, particularly if you're working with a solvent. And I was cursing the product because uh, this is the main plug for the for the uh, main board here, which controls everything. And I kept turning on and off the pump. It kept coming on. I had to plug it in separately. And it was I said it didn't work. It doesn't control it. You have to plug it and unplug it. And then I realized just now before the video started. It has its own plug right here, and that's the pump, and that controls it here. So I didn't have to plug it and unplug it. it. It did come in with its own plug. Look at that. So this panel does control everything. Now let me put this camera on its pod here. Let's lower this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin it around for you guys to see the back, and then we're going to test this thing out. I haven't tested it yet either. I'll be doing it with you guys for the first time. All right, here we go. It's a little heavier because I put the water in. Let's keep the light on. But here's the basin, and see the clips? You can actually unhook the entire booth off of the base where all the water sits. It locks in really nice. It's a, it's a really well-designed piece. Um, let me get this little hook back in. There we go. Yeah, and this just grips in and holds it. Here's the other foot, and here's the third, and there's three on each side to adjust for the, uh, for the level to keep the water level. Let me just spin all the way around to the back. trying to keep the water from splashing there we go and there you go there it is coming out of here now you can have your plugs on the other side and keep it all neat on the one side my plug happens to be on the other end unfortunately uh, here's the water pump that it comes with a really high quality aquarium pump it looks like a German might be a German one I was into aquariums I usually maintain marine fish um, in businesses and I had my own I was into marine fish big time I love saltwater fish um, clownfish Picasso's Great stuff, Triggerfish. That's why my email is Triggerfish, just so you know. Anyway, these hoses are high quality. Everything is really high quality here, and um, it does show. But here's where you put all the water in. I poured all the water in, and it took almost two gallons of water. And it could take two on the minimum and a maximum line. But please use distilled water. I use it for everything. It has all the impurities removed. Um, still only going to cost you like a buck fifty for a gallon. Grab two gallons of it. I keep it in the house because anytime I use acrylics and I want to use something with water, always use distilled. It has all the impurities removed from it. It doesn't affect the paint at all. But I don't know if it's going to affect this either. But I happen to have gallons of this in the house, so I filled it with distilled water. That's why you see that. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, so that's basically it. It comes, the pump is already in here. The hose is right here. It's pretty much assembled, just flopped open the front and put the sides in and stuck the lights in, and you're ready to go. Um, really, really streamlined compared to the original model. I mean, I'll tell you, the original model was, uh, it was like calculus. Uh, it, it, was, it was tricky. It was tricky to, to get it done. This is really simplified. Now, turning it back, we've got to go slow here. Let me put this camera down. I can use both hands. But it still slides pretty nice on this glass top. All right, we're going to come back around, and there we go. Okay, now I prepped it. I don't know if I had to or not, but let's come around to the front here. All right, look at that angle. That's perfect. All right, here was the water. It's going to come out. I'm going to fill into this little cavity. This is a, a plastic sheet. It's got these needles here that separate it, so it evenly flows through the carbon filter. Um, this pops right out. You pull this, and it hinges out. And that's how you change the filter in the back, which probably lasts a really long time. If you think about it, the water is handling most of the, the work here as far as overspray. But um, what I did was, as a precaution, I put a couple of drops Hold on. of uh, dishwashing liquid. Very little, because you don't want it foaming up in the water. 
it helps with sheeting. And then I, I got rain -X for your windows and your car that lets the water beat up. And I sprayed my uh, seat, my uh, cloth, rubbed it on, let it dry, and buffed it off like you're waxing a car. And that helps with sheeting also. So it comes down nice and even. If you have a spot, we're going to do it now. You move your fingers, you guide it there, and then it should stay right there. And uh, let's get this camera a little more level. Hold on, guys. I want to get this just right. There we go. All right, and that's it. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn it on and get the water flow nice. I won't even put the fan on yet. I just want to get the water flowing. And if you don't even have the fan, like I said, if you don't need it with an acrylic, it is pretty quiet. You guys are going to be pretty happy with this. All right, here we go. It's filling up, filling up, and here comes the water. Oh, and it came out perfect. It's, it's Look at it. I'm going to get you guys zoomed in here. Oh, by the way, I'm two inches or so from that from the pump. That's how quiet the pump is. Yeah, and it overflows up here, perfect. And it's coming in a little bit under an angle. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to spray dead center anyway. That's pretty good. I think after a while I can get it to maybe go here. I don't know, but I'm not going to touch it now. It's perfect right now. It's sheeting beautifully. All right, now it's going to. I'm going to guess a little bit of splashing, but I think the splashing is going to start. I mean, it's mostly when you start it. There's a little bit of water here, which doesn't matter anyway. It's all plastic. It's all plastic. And it all leads back down in there anyway. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I think it's just when it first started, when it did the first initial blast of water. Now, for me, I'm going to keep everything I do clean. Yeah, that's why you see when I shoot a video, I have black paper on the bottom. But this, I got this... See this? This is that poster board by Elmer's. I think Elmer's makes it. Got this at the dollar store, and they also have it at uh, Walmart foam board. There it is. You can get it in black too. I use the black for my bench. When you see the bench, that's what that is. Let's just put this here. See that? We keep it nice and clean. And there we go. All right. Now, time to uh, time to airbrush something. Let's see how it does. Uh, I am impressed. Let's go ahead and turn on the fan. powerful fan too. I'm going to lower it a little bit. There we go. All right, I got an air compressor out here, my old spare one. I have my airbrush right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use black so we can see it. This is my gloss black base from All Clad. This is a little bottle that I keep it in. Just shaking it up. All right, let me fill up the cup. All right, we are all set. All right, guys, I don't want to get you dizzy here. Let me make sure that fan isn't too loud. There we go. We'll lower that a little bit. All right, let's go with the old-fashioned spoons to see how this thing works. trying to see if there's any it's hard to tell if there's overspray I'm gonna have to spray for a good month here to test it but it looks like the no it, it captures the paint really well I'm, I'm one inch from it yep I can see it's pulling the black paint in can you guys see it there it is it goes like a wave fantastic it works really well I could see a little bit of dust here, but I think this is the kind of plastic that, yeah, this, this is that repelling kind of plastic. If you wipe it quick, it takes it right off. It's like the uh, my original old booth with that weird plastic. It's almost oily. It's awesome. But yeah, um, it, it works terrific. Uh, I don't know how long the water lasts, but I know this filter is a really good filter, and I can clean it out. So uh, I'll test it up for a good month or so, and I'm going to see how the water looks. 
um, but it's pretty much filtering itself pretty well. Let's see how much I got in here. Let's get more paint. Let's do another shot here. There we go. How's that? Let's try it out. And there we go. Ooh, I am out of paint. All right, let me clean out my airbrush, guys. Let me pause this. We'll be right back. All right, guys, I cleaned it out. I figured I'd let's try another color. We've got my metal pink here from uh, Hobby Mio, which I love. Let's get, let's pull this camera out a little bit. There we go. All right. Yeah, let's try this. Let's do another color. Great color. Love this color. <laughs> oh, there we go. Gotta go under the light. The lighting's different out here. You know what? Let's try oop, let's try it over some white. Why not? Everything's quiet. The compressor's actually running right now, and that's quiet, too. So, uh, this is really a good, uh, a good unit. If you're doing, uh, if you're filming and talking like I do, boy, it is, uh, quality. As far as quietness goes, anyway. Yep, there you go. It sprays. We're not doing a paint review. We're doing a booth review. Anyway, nothing down here. A little bit up here still. I'm getting that. Just reaching for my rag to see if it still comes off. Yeah, it comes right off. I used to wipe my other booth every night when I was done. And uh, look new for the longest time. Because it, it, the stuff just wipes right off. And I'm favoring that side too. Being right-handed, I'm coming in, in this way. If you guys are not filming, I imagine if you just sprayed straight on. Like this. And close to the water. You're not going to make a mess of anything, you know, you're just not. All right, I just ran out, so let me go ahead and wash this out, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, I'm back. I washed out the airbrush. I can, oh, let's we can get this out of here. Now we finished airbrushing. Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we, we got a conclusion is, you know, time will tell. Right now, uh, this is light years ahead of the one I originally tested. The other, the other one kind of worked. It was a little. It had glass, which is nice and stuff. And then I, I realized after I did it to do the uh, Windex trick, which ended up working. That's where I got the idea. One of you guys told me online, and um, so the other one works too. It worked, but it was just. I thought it was complicated and heavy, and uh, this just. It just takes it to another level. The other one you had had an add-on magnet light. This has got lights built in. The switches control the light, the the ventilation, the pump. It's a uh, really really well thought out piece and uh, I could tell it works uh, I checked the water I was gonna pull off the camera here and look at the water but I, I checked it my, there's nothing in it I I didn't spray enough now, most of the paint is probably caught in this carbon filter anyway because it catches in here and goes down there's some in the back of the glass here because I guess it's going around and into there but uh, that tells me it's good that means the suction is very good on that fan that it's taking whatever else and going in the back um, so uh, outstanding um, a great piece. I will put the link below. Um, let me check on the price. Let me see. What is the price for this? I think it was three, 300 I got to check. And um, But anyway, I will put the link below. This is made by Kaizo, who makes those uh, chisels, those uh, panel liners that I tested. The, that, that has all the different sizes. Uh, same brand. Wonderful brand. Robot Kai distributes them. Um, Great people. You, I couldn't ask for a better company to deal with than than uh, Robot Kai. They're just such wonderful, terrific people. Uh, especially Bella, who I deal with directly. Um, wonderful person. Great human being. And I have nothing but positive to say about them, her, and the company. So uh, you can't go wrong there. Though I'm sure they will stand behind this 100%. But 
The thing's been running the whole time. Can you hear it? You can't hear it at all. Those pumps are made for aquariums. They're made to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week for a minimum 10, 15 years. I've never had a pump go bad, particularly if you're dealing with clean water. If you're dealing with fish and all food, and, and, you know, then uh, you got to clean them and keep them good to go. I think with just the paint and most of the paint being captured in here, it's a whole different thing. Um, you probably won't have to clean them as often. But they also have a pre-filter in most of the pumps I've dealt with. So you I'm not going to have any worries there at all. Anyway, a wonderful, terrific product. I'm uh, glad I tested it. Um, I can highly recommend it, particularly acrylics if you don't have a window. Uh, I don't even think you need the vent at the top. Uh, personally, I don't. if you're using acrylics, I would just use this to capture the paint so the paint doesn't spread around your room. But as far as the, the smell goes, the toxic, you don't need it because you're dealing with a Vallejo. And uh, whatever other acrylic brand, you know, you, you don't, uh, uh, I would say Green Stuff World, you know, all those, Army Painter, Citadel, those are all uh, pure acrylics. By, by that, I mean water-based, not an acrylic solvent like Tamiya. But I did just spray uh, all clad in here. Um, the water didn't affect anything. I mean, look at that. The water didn't affect anything at all. It's not splashing at all. And uh, where's the all clad? Here's the all clad. Yes. And... Um, so yeah, uh, a, a wonderful piece. As I said, if you want to, if you're not near a window, and this the whole purpose of this is to capture the the paint and not make a mess of your room, but you're not near a window. Take this, put uh, carbon on the end that I showed you by the carbon filters they sell. It's black colored, and uh, that absorbs all the smell. Wrap it around the end of that, and then put it into a big cardboard box. Fill it with, uh, like I said, some rags. My friend fills it with rags that are sprayed with Febreze. My other buddy who doesn't live near a window. He has his uh, in a box. Same idea, but he also has a cat litter, a scented cat litter in the bottom that seems to absorb all the smell. And uh, he tapes the nozzle in the end. It keeps all of it inside, uh, particularly with a waterfall because by the time that vent is getting to the box, there's no pain in it, really. There's, it's just the scent. It's just the smell. And um, so the box isn't really filling up with anything. It's just absorbing the smell. And... Uh, so for that, I can recommend it. It's compact. You're not going to need a ton of room. Can I zoom out anymore? I can't. So let me back up a little bit. There we go. All right. We wanted to give the overall shot here again. So let me pick this up. Let me put this down a little bit here, guys, as we say goodbye. There we go. And there it is, the Kaizo Waterfall Spray Booth. Now, this is the first one out, the new one. There's another model. It's more of a professional model. It's got places to put your airbrushes. It looks completely different. It's probably the super version of the original model, I'm guessing, because um, it's uh, it it does look it, it looks even more mod. And I, you'll see it when it comes in. You'll see it. That's coming in actually within, within a few weeks. So it's uh, exciting time as far as far as waterfall spray boots go. But yeah, there it is. I recommend it. I, it works great. I left it running the whole time. You can't even hear it. And um, uh, excellent piece of equipment. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please like it. It helps quite a bit. You guys know that. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can see the next booth coming up. And uh, a couple more paint videos are coming this week. And join my Patreon. You can see the uh, unboxing of this and uh, where I set it up. And also I will answer your questions directly on my Patreon. I'll put a link below for the Patreon channel. So uh, if you guys want to join, it's only 4 bucks to join. And uh, I will answer your questions directly most of the time in video form if it's a uh, can you paint this on this type of question? And I will do that for you live. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you by the weekend. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.